Shabbat Shalom and good Shabbos to all my friends in SW3 and beyond. This week's Sidra Bahaloisacha. Bahaloisacha es Hanerois. Moses tells Aaron as a commandment from God that when you light the candles, the menorah in the tabernacle, in the temple, you should light the seven candles. Lighting is lahadlik or lahair. Those are the Hebrew words of lighting. The haloscha esaneros literally means when you raise up the candles. Why use that term when it comes to lighting for an understanding and interpretation, which only means to raise? Why not use the words lighting itself? Interestingly enough, as we mentioned last week, in the middle of this week's sidra, it talks about the Ark of the Covenant, and it moves, and when it moves, the Jewish people move with it. Vayehi bin Sawah Aron, which we say every day before we take out the Torah, bin Sawah Aron means when the ark travels. Traveling, as we know, is only forward. Something can travel forward or backwards, but not up or down. So how comes the ark, which carries the Ten Commandments, travels forwards, and Aaron, who lights the candles, can raise them upwards? Surely the Torah goes up. More so than candles, one would think. The answer is simple, given by so many commentators. With the famous words about the Torah, Lo Bashamayim He, it is not something from heaven. The Torah is always here, right here, flat, on this ground, traveling, yes, but traveling forward or backwards, but not going up. It's always there for us to take, for us to grab onto. It's never too far from us, it's just up to us to get to it and to embrace it. We have the power to raise other things in this world, just like Aaron had the power to raise those candles, to raise those lights and make them something bigger, something higher. God has given us the power to raise and to rise things up. But as far as the Torah is concerned, it'll always be here, always be on this world, whenever we're ready to grab it to take it, to accept it. Shabbat Shalom.